G'day, Mark Fui here from Farm Trader Magazine. This month we're checking out the McCormick X7 650. So it's a 7 series, 6 cylinder and 150 horsepower. I'm sort of new to sussing out McCormick. They're actually running some pretty flash gear under the hood here. So we've got an FBT engine, it's a tier 3, which is simple for Kiwis. Carraro axle up front and ZF transmission running in the back. It's got a 6 gear 5 range transmission so and there's auto functions in there that will suss out shortly that almost runs similar to a, a variable transmission but not quite. Hayden's going to give us a quick rundown on the machine and we'll hop in and drive it after that. Hi my name's Hayden I'm service and product manager for AgTech. We're out here in uh, close to Matamata in the Waikato, just here with the new X7650 McCormick. Um, this is a, a base model for the X7 range, but we obviously add a few bits and pieces to it, load sensing, cab suspension, and obviously a mid-mounted spool for front end loader or front linkage as well. So we take a base model and we put some bells and whistles on it for everyday farmer large farmer and also entry level contracting. So I just want to probably start from the start around here is we use um, a rigid front suspension, Carraro front axle on this and we also use a Carraro suspended front axle on these, this model as well. Getting back to the model, this is a base model which is a 650, power boosted to 165. Now this range will go to 210 horsepower. So the, the front axle is Rated to three and a half ton if you have front linkage and front PDO mounted on this tractor, which is um, a fairly hefty weight for, for, for a small tractor in the six cylinder range that we have here. Getting on to the engine, uh, this is a tier 3 FPT 6.7 litre engine. No after fuel treatment or add blue or anything to do with regeneration, it's just a straightforward tier 3. You add diesel, you turn the key and you will go. Just what Kiwis like. Okay, so that's getting involved with the front axle. Uh, we, we have a front axle steering sensor fitted on this standard for your auto PDO and diff lock, which is a great help for straight, uh, straight line performance and traction. Uh, working our way back towards the back of the tractor, made it to the FPT engine, is the uh, roboticized rain shifting ZF gearbox. Now, great gearbox, uh, been around for a long time now and it's a very, very well performing gearbox and reliability is awesome. Obviously on the other side of the gearbox is we have our 123 litre load sensing hydraulic system that we add to the, the efficient model so that you have got the high flow hydraulics there when you need it. The lift capacity on the back end of the uh, ZF transmission is 6,500 thousand kilos on this model and the uh, 660, the next model above it. Uh, this tractor is fitted with standard with Michelin tyres, um, all our X7 and X6 range McCormicks are fitted with Michelin tyres. We don't deal with anything else. But apart from that, it's mainly just giving you a quick rundown on it, and then we just really got to go inside the, the cab and have a look at a few functions and um, how simple it is to use, which is what I think Kiwi farmers have been asking for for a long time. It's a good, reliable six cylinder tractor where You've got the whistles and bells, but it's very easy to operate. Okay, so now we're inside the X7 um, 650 efficient tractor. As you can see, it's a very roomy, open cab. When you're inside, it's very well laid out and your vision is very, very good. You can see right down the front of your tractor on either side, even with the front end loader on it, you can still see the same thing. At a quick glance, I can see right down the back of my rear wheels. Very, very good. So, we have starting here, we have an isolation switch, which is very, very easy to get to. No going around to the battery box, it's actually mounted inside the console here, which is awesome. And also, it is very user friendly for your setup, your steering wheel as well, to basically how tall or short you are. So, I'm not going to go too much into the console of it. It's um, pretty standard indicators. Your power shuttle lever here. 
um, over on the right hand console here obviously our efficient model here we mount them with uh, mid mount spools for front end loader or front linkage um, it's something that we are going to continue with with this model because you want to have it at fingertips no introducing another loader valve or anything it's all just done by a mid mounted spool controls your easy pilot here uh, you have an enable button on the front you have your manual power shifts up and, up and down you hold the enable button and these two and you automatically rain shift you go from there you have a fourth rear remote option which is on your easy pilot here so that you can do it with touch of a button but the other three are done by mechanical cables your APS you have two settings of the APS you have a field and a road um, it's just a touch button you have to be stationary and neutral and you can select which APS you require whether it's field work or if it's road work and then on your APS on the other side is you have your potentiometer to regulate whether you want power how long it holds up in the revs for your APS or if you want eco mode when you might have just a small implement on the back of it or a rake or something and you're doing road work you want it to get up there and cruise along with zero amount of fuel cost to you um, you have your auto for your diff lock and four wheel drive here you have your rear pedio on which is just in and down your three rear remotes as I was saying normally and you have your rear hydraulic set up here your creeper lever and your four speed pedio on your easy pie obviously you have your engine revs and your engine memory button as well touch of a button it's there D clutches on the bottom and obviously your toggle switch for up and down on your rear remotes as well everything's at a finger everything is right there you know, fingertips so it's not hard it's a very simple layout but as I was saying earlier that is the general consensus that farmers and, and, and smaller contractors they just want simple but they still want to have luxuries it's got a fold away dicky seat here as well or passenger seat whichever way you want to say it and also a cool box here which runs through your air conditioning cooling system as well aircon here stereo work lights beacons and um, sunroof if you require it and pull down visor if you require it as well so I suppose now it's probably up to me to say um, Mark jump in here and give it a burn and give it a test and we'll go and do some drilling cheers Okay, so we've just finished up drilling and done some raking for the baler and the McCormick's gone really well. Um, it's a well-spec tractor without too many bells and whistles to go wrong, so it's going to suit a lot of New Zealand farmers. Check it out at farmtrader.co.nz or online. Mm -hmm.